this is Kevin King with Pinehurst Websites and today I'm going to do an overview of the brand new uh, POS app for the iPhone from Shopify. So this just came out today and I'm going to just go through how to quickly use it. So if you want to get started with the free trial on Shopify anytime during this video just click uh, below the video you'll see a description if you're on a mobile device there'll be a drop down here and in the description there's going to be a link just click on that and it'll take you to the setup for a free trial on Shopify so uh, let's go ahead and get get going with this tutorial and show you how everything works this is the main screen and it's very simple to ring up a sale uh, all the items from your web store will automatically come over so you just tap on the item and it goes right into the cart so if you want to tap on the item again it will add multiple items to the cart so let's go ahead or you can uh, search items as well so if you hit let's search for apparel for instance and we'll just uh, tap on one of the items and then once you're ready you tap on the top where the price is and that'll take you to pay for the item uh, then from there you just click on pay at the top of the screen if you tap on one of the items you can remove it uh, you can also add a discount right there either a percentage or a um, or you can do a dollar amount so just click on pay takes you to the cart uh, if you're using a credit card you can swipe it with the mobile swiper uh, from Shopify so it's very simple you swipe it and it brings in the customers information their name and uh, then it will ask you if you want to do an email address so let's just go and do say it was cash payment so let's just check and then we could put in the customers name at that point and email and then we can send them and then we can send an email at that point and then you have the option to send a receipt so it's that simple uh, now I'm going to go through uh, a review of <coughs> how to do this and also I will go through a review of the Shopify mobile app so basically you can have the Shopify mobile app which manages your web store <coughs> on your iPhone and then you can have the Shopify POS which manages your brick and mortar store and the two will work together so I'm going to show you the Shopify mobile app really quickly and then I will show you how to work the Shopify POS. Okay, and briefly, I'm just going to go over the Shopify mobile app. And this is just a way to manage your website, and you can put items on to your website right from your mobile phone. So, this has been out for quite a while, and uh, it's pretty much a fantastic app. It has a dashboard which shows you the total number of visitors, total number of orders that you've had and if you click on the three bars on the right hand side you can check out your orders you can check out your products you can go to your customers and you can add products uh, directly onto your site just by hitting this plus button at the top of the screen and you just put in a title and a price and it will go right onto your website it'll ask you for a uh, let's just call this as a sample price 500 and when you hit check mark it automatically creates that right away on your site and then you can pull from your photo library and you can pull an item right onto uh, right onto your site so we'll just say that we're throwing I know I put dress in there but you'll see that it just uploads that image and that that image will immediately be available on your site and then once that image uploads so once that image uploads you can go in and you can change other settings within the product as well you can add barcode you can put the item type you can put the weight so it's just um, it gives you quite a quite a lot of power in the palm of your hand to actually create products immediately from your mobile phone so you can shoot a picture if you're in the store and you can just shoot a picture of a new product that just came in and you can add it right to your website so this synchronizes everything with this uh, with the POS right away so when it takes you over to this 
uh, from the POS, you can just click back uh, over to the POS. Actually, it's going to show me that I can go right to the POS, see at the bottom of the screen, and I click on that and it'll take me right to the POS. So now let's just go through an overview of how to install and uh, set up the POS and really uh, some of the settings on the POS which is a separate app. So these are two separate apps, not to be confused. This one controls your store and the other one controls, I mean this one controls your website and the other one controls your store and they use the same inventory. And you can toggle items off uh, if you only want to sell it in one location. You can go to products and you can say, okay, I only want to sell this, I only want to sell this on my website for instance. So if I go to edit the product I can only make it I can make it only visible on my website or I can make it only visible on the POS. So it's very simple to work with. This is the Shopify mobile app <clears throat> and then the Shopify POS app uh, is going to be the one that we're going to go look at right now. So you can see at the top of my screen under top hits it says Shopify POS. I'm just going to click on that. I've already put in my username and password. So what you put in is your store name and then you'll put in your uh, user email address and then your password and it'll take you right into your store. So if you've used the Shopify POS on the iPad, uh, it's very similar but it's uh, obviously optimized for the iPhone and this integrates directly with the, PO, or the Shopify mobile app. So if we go to the menu on the upper left hand corner, you'll see that uh, you've got your checkout, your orders, and your settings. So you can go to orders and you can see uh, your current orders. You'll have to log in uh, to get your current orders. So let's just go in and log in real quick. So once you click on orders, it will take you over to the Shopify mobile app. So if you've used the mobile app before, it will take you to where your orders are. And then you can check out your, your products and your customers right from the mobile app. And if you want to go over to uh, back over to the POS, at the bottom of the screen you'll see you can click on the POS. So let's go back over and start using the checkout. So you can just add a custom item if you don't have an item in. Uh, you can just put in a, you don't have to put in a title at all, you can just put in a, a price and you just hit check mark or you can choose an item uh, so it, it goes to the cart and if I want to ring out with that I just touch on the, uh, the custom sale and it goes to that item and it's got my tax calculated and then I just click on pay and then it takes me to the cart. So. Um, I'm gonna. You want to allow the microphone because that's what uh, allows the swipe. So, and I've got all my different payments uh, that I want to use. So I can use any one of these different payments or a combination. I can do a partial uh, by paying part in cash. So if I put in, let's just say, uh, twenty-two dollars in cash, then it's going to ask me for the remaining amount. And then I would add payment. So I could add payment for say credit card, for instance, or store credit. So. If I wanted to cancel out an item, all I would do is uh, touch on that item or I could, well let's first just add another item. So if I add another item, I've added, uh, it tells me, of course you can see which items are out of stock and it tells me how many are in stock. So if I hit this anchor bracelet, the second one down and add that as well, I've taken the last one. So let's go back over to that and uh, I've got two of them but it's not giving me a warning that it's out of stock, but it tells me the actual stock as I was tapping on it before. So if I want to adjust this, I'm just gonna to touch this item and you see how I can minus it out. So I minus that to one, minus it to zero, and then it takes that out on my cart. And then I can take out every item that way by just touching the item and hit minus to zero. And if I take all my items out of the cart, then you can see it empties the cart and just takes me back to the page. So there's a quick overview of that. You can search products by barcode or by UPC, almost any product information that you have, or you can search by uh, category. So <coughs> let's just go to the search. So you should be able to put in uh, any kind of information that you want to search by. Uh, if you happen to have a SKU number, you could search by that in your settings. Uh, you can set up overrides, you can order a card reader right from your settings, and you can set your location on your settings. 
And that's uh, pretty much a quick overview, and it's just a nice handy thing. So as long as you have your phone with you, you always have a register with you. If you're doing a trade show or, or something along those lines or, or a fair, then you can ring up orders. So this was a quick overview of the new uh, POS app from Shopify, and uh, it just shows you how to navigate and how to use it. Uh, so thanks for tuning in to Pinehurst Websites. If you need help with your website, uh, and of course, this in, the best thing about this is it integrates your inventory with uh, your with your web store. So all of your inventory is integrated. So you can go to your mobile app and you can add products on your mobile store, and they'll show up in the POS and on your website. So that's the exciting thing about it. You've got everything integrated. You really just need an iPhone to manage your web store and your uh, your brick and mortar store. So thanks for tuning into Pinehurst Websites. If you need any help with any of this, you can check me out at pinehurstwebsites.com.